hello, motherfuckers. What up, boys? It is your boy, Ed, coming at you with somewhat of an update video and stuff like that. I know it's been roughly one month since I've posted anything, and uh, just to give you a brief insight of everything that's got going on. So a lot of you are probably wondering why I haven't uploaded a Supercard, and to be quite honest, because Supercard is stale and it's boring as F right now, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I just don't want to upload Supercard stuff. I'm not really opening packs. I'm just doing the events, daily tickets, playing you know, for some skulls here and there, doing stuff like that, my TBGs, but other than that, everything else is just so, like, you've already seen it on YouTube, there's no point, I could have made the most boring how to get so many free skull videos out there since every other YouTuber did it, and I'm over here like, god damn, I just realized every YouTuber that posted that is just telling you to play the freaking game, and is that really a tip? In my opinion, absolutely not. It's just telling you to play the game. To use your money in the bank contracts. Do King of the Rings. Uh, all that stuff. And I'm like, this is such a stupid tutorial that I'd rather not even waste your goddamn time. So, Supercar is just so stale. And I just... It's like, in my opinion, I'm just heading in a different direction right now. Like, to be honest with you guys, Season 7 might most likely be my last season. Season 7 right now, I'm going to make for me at this moment a road to glory kind of season where I don't spend a fucking dime in WWE Supercard. I don't spend a dime. I'm trying, I'm going to make Season 7 that season where I don't spend a goddamn thing and just do the best I can with not spending a single dime. Now, I was planning to honestly... Like, spend a little bit when the season came out. Uh, however, uh, due to unfortunate circumstances, I had to get a root canal done about two weeks ago. Still even getting in the process of that. Uh, it cost me $2,000 out of my own pocket due to an insurance thing that kind of blew my mind. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I, I had to spend two grand on a root canal. And that just kind of drained me right now of, like, everything I had. Like, So it's really unfortunate of having the root canal, but, A, I feel so much better now. God bless that tooth that was being a bitch to me. So, yeah, appreciate it. So right now, Supercard, uh, I will give you guys an update of what I have so far saved for Season 7 so you guys can see exactly what I'm planning to save in Season 7. And then you're going to be like, God damn, Ed. And then we're just going to make Season 7, if this is most likely could be my final season, because, you know, the game's just not going in any direction. Uh, 2K is just, just doing terrible, especially with those pack odds. Have you seen those new pack odds? Oh, my God. We've all been gypped of our money. Uh, we're going to go see our progress and make Season 7, if it is our last season, the best season we can. And then I have an announcement to make after this. If you guys could stay, stay around and hear the announcement, that would be awesome. Because I'm very excited about the announcement that I'm going to make. So let's actually go check on the Supercard stuff that you wanted to see. So the current LP store for me will be 100,000 LP by the end of Season 6. I will also have roughly maybe 4 to 5 uh, week packs that we did get from grinding and stuff. I will have like 4 to 5 weeks... So we should have around 105k LP saved up, ready to go for the next season, the LP store. So we're going to have a crap load of packs from all this stuff. But yeah, it should be an easy doozy to get all the stuff that we need. Because I really don't need LP for anything else anymore, to be honest. Uh, it's just dumb. I already bought the Shotzi Blackheart for the, for the month. So there's nothing else that I really would want. We're going to be stacked on the LP. Now let's go and I guess check our money in the bank. So here's our money in the bank process. Uh, it's 100k pretty much. Uh, again, I am wasting my money in the bank contracts here and there to get skulls. I, I do 2-3 thousand sometimes a day. 
and then just go back and try to get back up because I'm really using my ads now on Money in the Bank. I don't really use it for PvP anymore or anything like that. And uh, so right now, Money in the Bank is really easy for me to get. And honestly, Money in the Bank is one of the most useless modes in the world right now. Uh, I didn't bother getting Asuka. I haven't bothered with like two or three months of Money in the Bank. So I saved up this like since the guy in Edge from Elemental. And I'm telling you right now that these Money in the Bank cards weren't, weren't even worth it. Especially with the new holiday promotion we're getting right now with the Halloween. Uh, you could literally get that easily compared to an Asuka, which is just not even worth it. She's more trash in stats. I think an F1 is pretty much a pro Halloween card. So honestly, guys, just avoid Money in the Bank. It is just the most stupidest mode in the world. I probably will use this 100k on the first round that ever comes out in Season 7. But other than that, there's just no fucking point of Money in the Bank. So, yeah, but we're, we got 100k ready to go. Uh, but, yeah, I might be a little lower because I'm going to be spending these on skulls, obviously. And, of course, last but not least, tickets. Uh, currently, we're at 3,226 tickets. And by the time Season 7 rolls, we should have somewhere around... 3,400 I'm gonna say estimate wise so yeah we should be having a crap load of ticket packs depending on some circumstances on how they're gonna release these ticket packs you know they really honestly never release the top ones in the tier when, into the ticket packs however they could do it different in season 7 I don't know because then I'm gonna have to wait to get at least one tier above where it makes sense for me to waste these but yeah, uh, we are loaded on these ticket packs. I've been saving these since WrestleMania. I think a little before WrestleMania tier came out. So if anyone's wondering, damn, Ed, how do you have so much? It's just because ticket packs to me are just crap in general. And they're only useful in the very beginning of a tier. So I've been saving them forever. So easy W. <laughs> so yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get to that announcement. So, as you all know, I've been not enjoying Supercard to an extent of, like, as my big thing going forward. And, uh, recently I've played a lot of Fall Guys. I've been playing Fall Guys like crazy. I think I have around 300 or so hours when I'm not like, at work or anything like that playing Fall Guys. And I'm very competitive when it comes to Fall Guys. I just want to win every freaking crown I can. I'm just really, like passive aggressive when it comes to fall guys and i've been always dreaming about one day just doing a tournament twitch rivals fall mania ben ben tv's one thousand dollar tournament and all that stuff and i've always dreamed like yo one day i want to do that turn one of these tournaments and lo and behold i met an amazing streamer and dude was participated i'm not sure which one he's participated he did ben tv i think he may have done Twitch Rivals, I'm not sure, and I think he has done Fall Mania. And lo and behold, we we had a good friendship, and uh, we played together as well. You know, I've won a lot of crowns playing with him, and he's actually given me the opportunity to participate in one of these tournaments that's coming up on Saturday and Sunday. And uh, I'm really blessed to be participating in the Ben Ben TV tournament coming up this week and I'm going against a really really strong group I think there's going to be between maybe 80 to 100 something people participating in this uh, I will most likely be live on Twitch while playing this tournament I think I have to be live on Twitch to play this in this tournament which I had no problem doing uh, it would be amazing for all my fans to come out give me some support while we try to win this this against like some of the best people out there to play Fall Guys it's a stack stack group and it's some of the best people out there so it'll be awesome for all you guys to come on down to my twitch channel on the weekend and show amazing support because yeah it's it's something i've been dreaming about doing for a long time and it's finally gonna happen so yeah if you guys could come on down show some support in any way shape or form that would be amazing so yeah guys that was the announcement for the big weekend coming up. <laughs> I gotta get through work first, so let me get through work. And then Friday should be training day, Saturday and Sunday, official. Let's kick some ass day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I know I lost maybe 100 subscribers since the last month 
Uh, to all those people who left, uh, sorry. I guess, you know, me being inactive has sealed the deal for you. And I don't blame you one bit. It's just super card. Meh. I don't want to talk about it. But thank you guys so much for all the love. And I will see you on the next episode. If you guys could come on, I will tweet out when I'll be going live on Twitch for tournament training and stuff like that. So if you guys could come on down and show some love, that would be awesome as hell. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good, awesome day. And uh, keep on rocking and chasing what you could think of could be your next dreams. You know, I thought Supercar was getting me my dream. Maybe it never was a dream. Maybe something else will be finally become a dream. Only time will tell.